Greetings, Souls Wind here, and welcome to Let's Play Cooking Simulator bonus video for 5 star dish. This episode, we're going to upgrade the pumpkin soup to level 3. I think this is our first level 3 dish. Let's see. It's a pumpkin soup with croutons. Uh oh, croutons. <laughs> well, 15 grams of onions and whatnot, and uh, all these things. Add, fry, cook, add, cook, bread, cut. Approximately 6 grams. Ha. Ha. Now that won't be easy. We'll see. Mm, maybe use the slicer for something like that. And uh, I just want to say that I traveled way back in time. Way, way back in time. I think to the very beginning of the first bonus video? Or maybe, yeah, just the first few because some of the bonus videos were done using some of these existing ones that are still at level 1. But this now is level 3. So I'll see you back here in the prep phase. We need to cut onion first into pieces of 15 grams. Ooh, this pumpkin soup is beginning to tell us something. You know what? Um, I've gone all the way back, way, way back. So all these things are all um, still glitched. And we've got two consecutive days of like, uh oh, what? Excuse me. Anyway, we've got two consecutive days of uh, seafood contest. Aha, that's how you save it, right? That's how you save it. So all of these things, I think I just want to throw them away and just uh, redo everything. Like pumpkin soup and whatnot. Well, there's pumpkin in there, so... We'll just see what happens. Um, yeah, there's pumpkin in there, right? How's this pot looking like now? It's empty. That's good. So maybe empty pots, let's uh, put them somewhere. I don't know. In the corner. I think that'll be good. Empty pot. Put them in the corner. Uh... Oh, it was done. Okay. So now we're gonna use this part because I shouldn't dedicate this episode to all these admin stuff, right? And I think that might be just um, interesting. Anyways, that might be hot water, the red one. Right, so we need to cut onions into pieces of 15 grams. 15 times 8... I think. 15 times 8, that's 120. So we need to cut it into 8 pieces. And I'll meet you back here with a set of onions while I go serve something. Okay, so I've got a set of 5 onions. Before we try cutting, let's see if this works again. And since I traveled all the way back, we don't have some of these things, so we have to buy it again. Let's buy this. Let's cut it. Do we have 15 grams? 12, 16, 17, 17, 16. Well, suppose we can keep some of the 16s. That will help us a little bit to begin with. 16. 16. 12s and 17s, no. So we've got two already. That's a good start. We'll do the rest. By cutting it ourselves. We got four tries. I hope it's useful enough. Okay. Let's hold it. We need a total of eight pieces, which means a middle cut and three cuts across to make it four on each side. If we want a three cut across, we want a cut in the middle, a cut slightly to the side and the other side. 13, ha ha ha, 24, 26, right. If 13 was 
required, we would be really, really happy. Unfortunately, no. That wasn't the case. 18, still no. Leave it there, okay? 26. Cut. 12 and 14. Okay, 14 is close to 15. That's fine. Ha ha ha. Funny. Now, try again. We got one. We need a total of eight pieces. We got three. Let's see. Okay, pause. Let's try to get it on the center. Try to get it on the center. And then slightly in front. Slightly behind. I don't think it's really good. Oh wait, it is good! Look at that! We finally have 15 grams! Wow! Oh my god, we finally have 15 grams. One. Two. We need three more pieces. Hello, please, I don't mean that, I mean to, uh, I don't mean to put it down, I mean to cut it. Let's try again. Yeah, right. Okay, 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 16 cuts it. Yeah, 16 cuts it. <laughs> 20. Dub is gonna work. Yeah. Half right. Half in the middle. Yeah, of course. Of course. In the middle. You know what? I'm going to save some of these cuts. Nah, never mind. Um, you know what? Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna be able to prepare other dishes, teach how to cut most of the cuts, and uh, we can keep the rest and take some of these better cuts from here. So, um, yeah, why not? Why not? Instead of just throwing them away, keep them here, and if anything, I can always show the cutting methods to get those cuts, and then take some of the better weight from there. Instead of like, you know, um, dedicating time like this. But if you're going for all these 10 gram cuts, or rather, you know, like if you're getting the 10 grams or whatnot, then obviously you'll have to um, spend the exact amount of time required to achieve those cuts. But beyond that, I think it's okay. 14s are kind of acceptable. We got a lot of 14 this time round. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and an 8. We got some 16s, so that's good enough. Look, we didn't waste a lot of cuts. That's pretty good. Anyway, we'll see. I'll just save it here and we'll see what happens, yeah? Uh, you just put it there. I think I'm gonna end up throwing it away, right? So, just throw it away. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, good. 120 grams, finally, it's complete. So this is for the pumpkin soup. These potatoes, I wonder why I have them here. Never mind. The big pot is empty, let's put it there. And uh, olive oil, 10 ml, fry the onion, transfer into a pot. Mixture and onion, add to pot. 500 ml of chicken broth and whatnot. So let's prepare all of these. So we need chicken broth, 500 ml. Okay, we can go for like 501 or something, no problem. Hey, okay, that's good. Probably shows 501. No, it doesn't. Good. 
So this is the first day of a consecutive set of like two days of three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, sorry. Twenty grams. Yeah, two days of seafood contests. I seriously cannot multitask. Uh black pepper fifteen. Pumpkin soup. That's a total of 997. Good, we'll take that one. Or should I show how to cut? Yeah, I'll show how to cut the pumpkins. Hmm, I've already got some pumpkins though. Never mind, let's show it again. Why not? Why not? So, we need like one kilo from this, so we need to cut it uh, five pieces. Which is about four times for five pieces. So, um, it will be unwise to just cut it like slices or something. So, I would always suggest just do uh, a vertical cut and slightly big of an X cut over here, like um, angled X cut here. that so that will give us six pieces of varying sizes wait hang on is that 120 it is so what's that one hello sure so what happens is that we've got this 690 excuse me 669 or something 934 549, 988, 1.1. We don't want those that are too big. 988 is too close. We want something that's closer but not close enough. 934, okay. And then, this is one of the smaller one. So we'll just split it up. Just take a cut that is hopefully going to be about 60 grams or so to fulfill that emptiness. Good. Look, 60. So in total, you get 994. That is perfect. So, we can keep all of these for future use. Thyme twig, 20 grams. Garlic, 20 grams. Right, of course. Don't have your seasoning on the food, so you have to remove them. Twenty grams, and then put those in. Thyme twig is probably here, right? Yeah, four of these. Okay. Now, we have to ensure that they're in there, okay, before we boil it. So boil for 90 seconds, add sour cream, and um, transfer, and then we can cut bread and whatnot. So this is complete. Uh, we've got the onions and whatnot as well. So what I suggest we do is that we bring it over here, and we'll cook it. Next time, we can focus our time on cutting. These onions, put it together so the pumpkin is here. This is a set for the pumpkins. Now, the next thing we want to do is to cut olive. No, we have to cut bread, not cut olive. What? Cut bread into approximately 6 grams. But how are we supposed to get 6 grams? Hmm, well... Cut this in half, take this with you, put this in here, and hope for the best. Any sixes? Uh, pretty good, I would say. You know why? Because they give us a lot of flexibility to halve. So, this is 14 grams. Put it like that. 
cut. Six grams. There. We need 50 grams of these six grams. Eight. Forget it. For now. Don't bother. Leave this here. Take out a few more before picking up the knife. And the flexibility with bread is that it allows you to, no, not, not 31, sorry, not allow you to cut a 31, but it allows you to slice off a tiny bit. So, you know what, let's try. Can we slice off just a little bit of this? Come on. Okay, never mind, not so flexible. It's okay. Picked up our knives, let's go cutting. Middle, eight, five, approximately six, that's okay, five is fine, eight, six, good, we got one more. This is 17, so we can actually split it into three cuts, so one cut, two cuts, seven, five, five, um, okay, we got a seven for now, with a six there. Six. And then we can take a five, I guess. The eight can go to the bin. We got 16 here. Again, we can cut this into three sets with one having a smaller size. So let's have a smaller piece over here and then middling cut over here. Yeah. That's fine. The four is fine. We just need the five and the sevens. Too bad it's not a six, huh? One more five. So that's five pieces over there. We got a 31 here. We got a 12 here. I hope this is going to give us a middle cut and give us the six we need. So let's try for the 6 in the middle. Please. Good. So suppose everything is 6, okay? 6 times... Um, 6 multiplied by 7, 42. Thereabouts. So 42, we need about another um, 7. That'll be 49. And that's good enough. The rest don't care. Okay, we got another four here. Oops, no, that's not what I meant to do. Excuse me! Okay. Should we throw these away? Excuse me, hello! You're not supposed to be bouncing off like that. Throw them away. And uh, keep this back here. Regardless, we should have enough. No matter what is there. We should have enough. 50 grams of bread. Drizzle in olive oil. So, um, yeah. Right. Wait, what? We've got 48. Uh, ooh, now that's bad. Okay, we're 2 grams under. 2 grams under. That's actually kind of bad. Shouldn't have thrown those away. You know what? We'll keep it like that. Drizzle in 5 ml of olive oil. Uh, no. No, 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 no. That's not right. That's not right. So, instead of like, you know, struggling with everything, let's just uh, cut this in half and then just put it through the slicer once again. We should get a lot of middling cuts and whatnot. Okay. And then we can do another split cut. Because we are left with like 30 plus grams and that's not good anyway. Um, I prefer the 18. Never mind. 16 is fine. We've spent quite a bit of time. Again, three cuts for the 16. Uh-oh, I'll meet you back here tomorrow. It's the first day of the seafood contest, and there's probably two days, so no worries. I'll meet you back here. Now we want to continue with all these cutting. Yeah. 
I don't want 8 grams. 7 grams, fine. But not 8. Like, approximately 6, right? So, 7 grams is okay, but not 8. Excuse me. Yeah. 6 grams, perfect. Let's remove some of the 5. So that puts it at 49. Another 6 grams, wonderful. That puts us at 50 grams. Come on, excuse me. There, 50 grams. Good. Now let's see. Uh, throw them away? Yeah, sure. Throw them away. Okay. Continue. Um, drizzle in olive oil and fry for 30 seconds. Drizzle in olive oil. Now, what we want to do is that for this whole set of um, pieces and whatnot, uh, it's going to be drizzled in a total of about 5 ml. So each piece here, there's about, I think, 10 pieces, no, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 pieces, 6, 7, 8, 8 pieces, 8 pieces of these, so, hmm, 5 ml, each should be less than 1, so the best way to do it is to save, we don't want any more than that, so we should save here. Now, let's take this, and then we want to have the olive oil be poured here. Oops, not seven. Definitely not. That's bad. Uh, five. We need to ensure this is five now, because if anything, we can always add to it. Now, pour it like that. So everything have got less than one, at most one. And uh, we can just pour it like this, no problem. <gasps> Oops. Hey, okay, we still have got four for some reason. I don't know what's wrong. The mixture is now two. We got three ml on all of these things now. We should have a total of about five. Again, let's uh, pour this. <gasps> uh, okay, two and three, sure. Uh, just pour again. Yeah, they each should have quite enough. Except for this one. It's fine. Put that in there, pour it back there, and it should be good enough. Yeah. Definitely will have some on it, right? Sure, that's it. Discard the rest, and um, the part of the croutons is ready. We'll put this somewhere around here. It's still the pumpkin soup. We're still preparing the pumpkin soup. That's a lot of steps ready. And uh, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> that's all. So I'll meet you back here for the cooking phase of the pumpkin soup. Or the serving phase of the pumpkin soup. Basically the ordering, right? I'll meet you back here in just a bit. And since this is ordered right while we're preparing the tomato soup, I guess, why not? Um, yeah, it's uh, having some time passed already, so let's not be too complacent. We better hurry. Cut onion, add to an olive oil, add to a pan olive oil, 10 ml. Pumpkin. We need to fry the onion, so let's bring it over. Sour cream, let's bring it over here for now. Okay, the pan is clean, so olive oil 10 ml. Ooh, I clicked, but it's not there. Good, 10 ml. Add the onion. Okay. As usual, we want to ensure that they're properly spread out. Try not to have anything stacking on other things. Okay, good. 
Now leave it here. And um, fry for 30 seconds. And then transfer into a pot the mixture and the onion. Thirty seconds. Um, we're gonna move this away for now. Just put it here, and we want to transfer into a pot the mixture and the onion. I think it's referring to this pot. Uh, ten more seconds. So add to the pot. Oh, add to a pot. That's weird. Now let's wait. Let's not be too hasty. Let's not be too hasty. Add to a pot all of these things. Boil, blend, bread, and all that stuff. So basically it's not add to a pot. It's add to the pot. Um, chicken broth and whatnot. Pumpkin and whatnot. And then we need to boil. Which means that we want to transfer the mixture with a ladle because it's gonna have to boil right it's gonna have to boil before we can blend so the boiling part is what is concerning if we pour it onto the pumpkin soup I mean onto the pumpkin not pumpkin soup because then um, the mixture might not be right Let's uh, have everything in there. Of course, drop it like that. Why not? Yeah. Okay, let's have everything down there first. If anything, we can always take this out. Put it back. Put these back. And then take the onions. They should all fall in. If not, make sure they do. Oh my goodness. Okay, that was my mistake there. Make sure that the onion is... I mean, the garlic. No, not the garlic, the pumpkin, because I keep taking the wrong thing. Make sure all the ingredients um, sit nicely in the broth. So we need to make sure that the pumpkin goes into the broth, like maybe around here. Yeah. Okay, I think that's fine. I think that's fine. So leave it in there. And what we want to do is we want to boil for 90 seconds. While boiling, uh, we can take some sour cream, I guess. 90 seconds, and then we need to blend. Ninety seconds. Okay. This is our tomato soup for the other thing, so let's just move it away. No, let's just discard that. We don't need it anymore. We need this to blend the pumpkin soup. And while waiting, we can buy the sour cream like I mentioned. Top up our sour cream supply. We wasted quite a lot, unfortunately, due to the bug. Okay, now we need to take the bread, drench it in olive oil, or drizzle it in olive oil. So everything... Oh, it's all drizzled. Nice. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> so I drizzled it already. I mean, I'm recording it in separate sessions, so maybe I might have mistaken so anyway it's drizzled so we just need to fry it for 30 seconds let's uh, take it to fry yeah that's 4 ml that's pretty good spread it out but don't forget to take note of the boiling it's almost done yeah I wanted to have the thing frying before I handle this but looks like that's not possible this one, let's uh, settle it down like that. So 30 seconds. Meanwhile, we can boil the rest. 30 seconds. Okay. Without anything else, just 
basically just uh, yeah just fry it didn't even say transfer into a pan just says fry <laughs> right the ladle is here let's begin by transferring all of these or never mind it's almost times up so let's be careful let's be really careful okay the croutons may become cold again, but yeah, let's quickly transfer. Come on. Yeah, sometimes um, I'm worried that the ladle will just topple that. But we can only hope. No, 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 no. It's not too difficult to add it back here. Let's do just that. Can I have the pumpkin in there, please? Yes, thank you. All of those in there. Okay, pot is empty. Check the weight before blending. So we have got the 20 grams of thyme twig, that's okay. 120 grams of onion and 994, so that's all okay. Blend. Everything must be blended, with the sauce being 1.3 liters. Bring it over. And then... Um, sour cream 150 ml, then serve 300 ml with the croutons and whatnot, or the bread or something. So now, let's quickly, we'll have to let that lapse, I think, unfortunately. No, 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 sour cream. Yeah, that will have to lapse, unfortunately. Now, let's do the sour cream. Yeah. And then serve 300 ml. Okay, take the bread or croutons. I think it's croutons. It's already cold. Uh, yeah, croutons, right? Or croutons, I don't know. Well, we'll also need um, cilantro. 6 grams Cilantro is not at the bottom That's oregano Oregano Cilantro is here 2, 4, 6 Oops <laughs> Roasted on derb How long does it take? <laughs> Press E to take the screenshot Serve the pumpkin soup Yes! We got roasted on derp, but we got our fame back through having 5 stars on the pumpkin soup with croutons. Let's see what the guest complaints might be. Maybe the cold croutons again? Wait... Uh, 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 Garlic? Unwanted? Okay... And it, it was 5 stars with unwanted garlic and not enough garlic? Oh... Uh, well, I'll review my footage and see if I need to record it separately, prepare it separately and whatnot. Maybe the broth was wrongly prepared? I don't know. But it's still 5 stars. I mean, if it's unwanted, it should not be 5 stars, right? Did I make a mistake again? I'll find out. But it's still 5 stars, and there's not enough garlic, and there's unwanted garlic. I don't understand. You said it's unwanted, and it's not enough garlic. <sighs> How? How? This is contradictory. You don't want garlic, and you say there's not enough garlic. <laughs> Maybe you don't want garlic powder, you want fresh garlic, but it's not enough of fresh garlic. And therefore the proportion is wrong because we have got unwanted garlic, powder, and because of that, the proportion is wrong and the fresh garlic is not enough. I don't know, maybe. I'm still glad that we got the 5 stars. It'd be really really difficult trying to figure out what went wrong there. 
So let me know what you think about this episode and this dish. And if you've tried preparing, have you encountered any problems? I'm also going to try and find out if the unwanted garlic was indeed my mistake. Like I added something wrongly. It would have been something else and not um, uh, garlic powder, basically. Um, and yeah, if it is, maybe I'll prepare this dish again and have it added to the end of this episode and uh, show that it is still possible to get the five stars with the right ingredients because you know we have experienced before that sometimes you need to serve the wrong things to get the five stars but anyway it's five stars that's all i have for now have a nice day so indeed i added the wrong garlic <laughs> I added the wrong garlic. It's fine. I'm gonna just retry this whole thing and I'm just gonna speed up the footage and um, Yeah, let's see if we still get the right uh, five stars And yes, we still get the five stars. So what I did was I checked. Indeed, I added the wrong things. I added the uh, um, powder for the garlic and that was wrong. So now we have the perfect. Of course, the achievement doesn't pop up, but I want the achievement to pop up for most of my recordings if possible to show that indeed it will give us the achievement. And yeah, basically this is it. So we do get the five stars and um, now there's no more complaints and it's just good. I'm so glad that, you know, at least I've got this right. So that's good. That's good. Um, yeah, I shouldn't have made the mistake of, you know, getting the wrong garlic into the soup. But anyway, I'll also have it on screen. I would have had it on screen that, you know, shouldn't add those steps in there. Um, I hope you enjoyed this extra add-on. And you've seen how Soul's Blurwind came about. Something like that proves the point.